I love that term, the manner of happiness, because it implies an overall um, feelings of contentment, but that's not to say that life's not gonna be without trials. It's not even to say that we're doing something wrong when we're feeling sad or unhappy or frustrated or any other emotion. I, I believe all of our emotions are actually gifts that our heavenly parents have given us to help us navigate the world. And in fact, it's that contrast of having sometimes negative emotion that makes happiness so powerful. So a manner of happiness doesn't mean we're always happy. It doesn't even mean that if we're living righteously as the Nephites demonstrated here, that we're guaranteed to always be happy. And I think that that comes up very nicely when we're looking through first and second Nephi. And Nephi is seen as the righteous guy, right? Yeah. But he has a lot of trials that come from that, right? Yeah. Um, he tries to do the, the right thing. And so what happens? His brothers get angry with him. And that means they beat him or they tie him up or they try and kill him, which are fairly serious things, right? Yeah. But somewhere along the line, he's finding happiness in spite of and not losing sight of the importance of that, that happiness that can come. <laughs>